Hi again, people. Uh, I'm back now, and I'm going to talk about why am I an agnostic, part two. You maybe remember the previous video when I talked a little about myself, why am I an agnostic? And yeah, I don't know if I can go deeper, but I can give you a few clue why I am uh, agnostic and how did I actually come up with that idea why I wanted to be an agnostic and not a full agnostic exactly. Or maybe the one who read the book or the book of religion itself uh, or believe whatever stands in the book or whatever kind of. Call it what you want, Genesis or what. And as I said earlier, I ain't going to say which religion I belong to. But it's up to you if you want to guess. But on other hands, I don't. I rather keep it for myself. And I don't want to let someone to know exactly which religion I believe in. Oh. Or whatever I am baptized from, or whatever you can call it. However, for you who maybe didn't heard about agnostic, an agnostic rather believe or not believe in God, or never believe in any gods at all, or maybe does believe or doesn't know the point is to be an agnostic you have no uh, opinion sometimes you have an opinion sometimes you don't have it or you maybe doesn't believe what the gospel is saying or whatever kind of uh, that's exactly what i am i believe there is a god but not only one i believe there are several god of course which could be a blasphemy since my religion forbidding me, on other hands, to believe in many gods, or maybe my religion even saying those gods who exist in my religion should I believe, but no one other gods outside of the religion. That's how I can say. Uh, yeah, and that's what i aiming for sometimes, because I believe that even if you may be thinking that it's weird that I don't tell exactly what kind of religion I belong to, but that's it. I want to be alone in this case, that I actually can go for my own religion no matter what. I can say this, when I was younger, I wanted to defend my religion and the belief of the system. The only time I maybe reject was the time when there were no equality in it. That was the only time I maybe never protected the religion itself when it came to one gender have a superior superiority and the other one not only submission and that made me a little pissed for some times so i became a little more well i don't know what to call call myself but I was more negative when I found out that the religion maybe support men more than women. So yeah, I, I felt so annoyed. I wanted to question, but I refused to question anyone except when it came to many things I literally hear in TV, for example. 
uh, about men have right and women have to submit to their husbands and so on. If they break in the rules, it would be otherwise consequences. Now, I ain't going to tell exactly uh, what kind of consequences, but you can maybe relate to whatever the consequences is, depending which husband you may be remember, as you maybe have lived with, for example. I mean, first of all, we all are diff different. Sometimes we live with our closest friends and lovers and whatever. The sad faction is that it have happening in generation after generation. And that's the only time I was thinking, when will we change? But here's the thing, even though we had still problem, I still defended the religion so long. Okay, the only time I maybe failed to defend it was the time when I maybe started to suck up to everybody by thinking whatever some of them may have saying who seems to be true but I wanted to believe it was the false because whatever I was learned was outside from the violent but inside of anything who seems to be positive so I neglected everything who were negative and didn't want to have anything with the uh, negative things to do. Yet I was still depending on to be a part of the religion so I could preach to God and be a part of God and make God proud and all of it. And yeah. Don't get me wrong, when I say God, I don't mean only one God, I can even mean several God as well. Yeah. Well, if I may say this, when it comes to Hindu and Buddhist, we have many gods. But sometimes, even in the religion itself, some of the people can choose the gods themselves into the religion they may be praying to or worshipping or otherwise just praying, loving and so on. Which is wonderful in my case because you don't have only one god even you, if you can praise the one god if that god may be have granted you that kind of love and wish and all of it except that you have to understand that you can't ask everything sometimes a god can do something just like a parent on the other hands not all parents are Ooh, uh. hold on not all parents can actually uh, grant the wishes if I may say it and that's different for some people we all are different we all are different we can't always be in this kind of case that we may be saying well I wish I could get this I wish I could get that but to what kind of level would it be if we keep asking and asking and asking without to think that we can't get whatever we want. Sometimes you should never ask too much and be happy whatever you got. The only time you maybe will ask is the time when you maybe are in danger. For example, you maybe are trapped in an abusive life and you wish to go out. And you maybe wish those idiots to gospels themselves who literally preach to God can maybe help 
but instead they are blind enough to believe that you have to be with the same husband all the time. But perhaps few of them have maybe make sure that uh, the victim can change and even go that way they wish to be, depending which one you may be reached to, meaning all of them are different, but there will always be someone who are willing to help a friend in need, if I may say it, and that's different. However, uh, I was also thinking, in the idea, when I started to become agnostic, it was also the time when I heard a lot of violent happening few years ago when I was younger. I ain't saying which country exactly, but I am going to say what exactly happened. A person got shot and yet the gunman on the other hand who who assaulted his wife because he believed that the wife had going behind his back and in this case when someone wanted to press charge on him he on other hand walked free and in this case I was so sad to see that kind of gunman who shut down that woman. For what? For suspect something who ain't right? Or was it because she breaked a rule, a ridiculous rule, who shouldn't exist? The only time I also wish was that she need justice. But I don't know, those men were fools, they had no idea what kind of thing they did. Perhaps to say, even if I was a teenager, an immature boy who couldn't understand the law, who couldn't see that kind of path, yet I had my mouth to use. Because I know that humans are violence, but I don't think that God would ever be so violent like ourselves. But in the same time, we may be hear from few Gospels who literally saying a lot of things as God would do, kind of. <sighs> and again, what more can I say? There is nothing I can say. I mean, sometimes I get getting this. Why am I defending it, the religion I belong to? I can say this. Few religions are peaceful, while few religions ain't peaceful. And when I talking about religion, I talking about the major religion. Which one of them you thinking maybe are peaceful, and which one do you think is violent? But again, don't forget. Even if you think that your verse or anyone's verse are actually uh how should i say peaceful it doesn't necessarily mean that where it it is peaceful itself but you on the other hand are the reason why it is peaceful meaning you as a person who are calm and not aggressive who maybe show that kind of peaceful signs you maybe have inside yourself that could be the result of a peaceful religion if you may be showing others 
I mean, that comes from you. The same goes for everybody else. Only yourself can change, not the person who literally screaming violent every day. I mean, it doesn't matter if this is from Christianity, it doesn't matter if it's from Judaism or, well, you know. It doesn't matter if it comes from Islam itself, it doesn't matter if it comes from Hindu. Well, okay. It doesn't matter if it's coming from Buddhist, which I don't believe it maybe doesn't. But again, as I said, I can't say which religion I belong to. But I remember that I have always defending my religion so long until I became tired and desperate and tired. And of course I know. I know as a human being I do many wrong things. I do. Even if that would be a very laughable for an atheist who may be saying, well, you may be doing the wrong thing, but there is nothing to be ashamed of. Well, it's easy for you to say it, but I, on the other hand, can't do it. I can only put myself in danger in the same time fear God, kind of. Now, I don't... Give me a moment. Yeah, that was the question market. Um, however, as I said, it is a little different from whatever I have in my mind when it comes to the religion itself. When I defended that so much, I literally took it like it is inevitable. Well, kind of fairness thing, if I may say it. <laughs> fairness, you know, when he said, it's in in the uh, what was it what was it he said again i am inevitable oh yeah there yeah. uh however as i said earlier it's never easy to understand and know exactly what's going on for sometimes when you don't know about the religion itself you only heard that from your parents, or maybe you heard it from, well, the preachers or gospels, as I used to call them now, because I don't have otherwise to call them anything. I mean, it doesn't matter which religion it is, but what is important is how we, as human size, can change. I mean, for many years I have always thinking that we can still change it. And I still believe it. But that doesn't change myself. Because I don't think I'm going to be a gospel guy exactly. I think I keep going to be an agnostic guy. Who literally going to keep question the book of the religion itself. Now, I ain't saying which one as you know exactly, because I want to hide my own religion. But I can blast it as much as I can. Well, I have done that, of course. After my friend's death, it was that time I started to read, reason with my mind, that I wanted to be far away from it, but not exactly... Uh, quit to believe in God but the religion itself but I was always afraid that if God may be going to jump on me one day and maybe scream and telling me that whatever you have done is wrong now I'm going to punish you well not exactly but in this case there's a mindset that I putting myself in but I have always been afraid for God. I fear God all the time. And sometimes I can't breathe or thinking otherwise than try to hold myself down. 
for a while. I mean, you shall never question God, for an example, but the only time you maybe can question is when someone literally saying, well, you should do that, you should kill the person, blah, 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 or maybe persecute the person or threaten the person to not commit this or that. Yet, the believer itself commit many things but have no idea that the person who doesn't believe in our religion doesn't do it. What kind of threat is that person in this case who literally have been persecuted by the believer in that standard? That means we are not better than that person itself. That means we suck as humans as well. All right. And if I continue back to the uh, about women who literally talk about the past, the time they submitted to their husbands, just because that was exactly what the religion itself said. But if I saying a lot of things. All of those I can have in my mansion. Now, don't take me like a genius. This is just a ritual, meaning I'm just pretending whatever I have in my mind. For example, I can imagine Moses being that the savior who saved a lot of people from Egyptian, as we used to hear in the history for some times, splitting the ocean in two pieces to make sure that each and any people can reach over and later of course make sure those bad guys uh, will vanish in the ocean as a punish for whatever they have done. But they were the one who wanted to continue hunting down Moses and his people. So yeah, they got what they got. But as usual, after the freedom, there will I stop. Because I don't want to predict anything as I already have learned or uh, read about. And I don't want that. Meaning, even if I ignore the, the violent sense or the wrongdoing sense, so on, I can still appreciate the right thing and all of this nice things we actually have happening. All right, how about Jesus Christ? Well, Jesus Christ, a guy who actually was more like a hippie, a nice guy who literally wanted to just free all people from every pressure each and any one feel, for example, all kind of shit every government have create, all those kings and all those rulers and yeah, you know, super powerful I may say it, the early government, will it say, everybody have to pay taxes, money and gold and all of it. No one could escape each and any of them. And if they needed food and so on, they had to work for it. It's kind of same thing as we do today. But in their time it was more exhausting because each and any one work as a slave, kind of. For the system, of course. And those who didn't have any jobs, they were supposed to do otherwise. For example, those things who were illegal in that time. For example, uh, going a minor without the government's uh, uh, approval, even uh, prostitution, 
when a mother didn't have any choice but still have to prostitute to survive or maybe helping her children for other hands which is also something as I still feel sad about that that time because no one deserved to do it sometimes I wish those kings were actually more how should I say if they could use their hearts instead for just thinking about their power they were more selfish than ever uh, however Jesus was a uh, guys, I return. Give me a minute. Uh, yeah. Um, forgive me if I disappear for a while. You see, as I also mentioned early, for you who doesn't know exactly, I haven't told my mother that I start started YouTube because... I wanted to be a YouTuber. I always think about that since I was young enough. I think I was maybe 27 when I started to think about that, that I wanted to reach over to a platform for once and do something as I never done before. But uh, my only fear was that if I would do something wrong later, which is also big for my case, because earlier when I was younger, I was against internet. Today, I maybe doesn't say many things except to see that internet is really dangerous, of course. That opinion will always be there with me, even if I can make it with, even if I can keep my self responsibility whatsoever I do on the internet without to do anything wrong. And I'm very happy for that. Okay, back to why I am an agnostic. So, as you know, as a young boy, I grew up with my mother and father, of course. Both of them were separated. I had a great connection with my father, but I didn't have any great connection with my mother. However, that didn't change me to be otherwise than just a guy without any violent sense. Fine, okay. We could be violent inside, that's one thing, but we don't preach violent outside, that's what I mean, on other hands. On other hands, I was more like a goofy boy who literally loved everything who comes around. And I love everybody equally. No one is more worth than other one. I still love my mother, I still love my father, both of them equal. There were nothing otherwise than that I love both. <sighs> However, the time, well, oh, oh yes, I haven't mentioned this. My father were a believer himself, but he wasn't that kind of violent person in the religion itself, no. The only time he denied was all kind of violent himself. The only time he could maybe agree was the time when somebody literally maybe taking over someone's land, for example, was maybe the time he maybe said that you have to defend yourself before somebody taking your land. But here's the thing. When he said defending, he didn't mean that you have to attack the person at all. Instead, you have to have a debate with the person who literally tried to take over the land. What he was afraid of is that if that person would press a charge, 
by attacking the people he lived with. And that's the thing who seems to be more dangerous depending with which person you're dealing with. And that was something my father used to tell me to avoid. The time I maybe will grow, uh, grow up, I have to be more careful. Whatever I do, never press charge on the person unless you know exactly who it is. But don't allow him to insult you or assault the people, kind of. That was his message. And which one would do that? Well, let us say you won't find out who exactly I, I saying, but I can give you a clue. It could be a businessman, it could be a senator, it could be a politician, it could be any kind of person, no matter what. It doesn't matter what kind of background that person has. The point is that the person are willing to sh shape your world for otherwise than what he have in his mind. But here's the thing. So long I have responsibility, I have to use my responsibility without to cause any problem in the past. And that was the thing I have in my mind. <laughs> However, even if my father were religious, he was still peaceful and didn't practice any violence at all. And I'm very happy for that. Uh, but the only sad faction was when it came to do religious preachers. Some of them had this instinct about following this kind of strict law as I couldn't understand from beginning until I read it myself and start to notice the part of it. And that made me furious, of course. Even if my father, on other hands, was the one who denied it, that part, yet someone, someone close in his area like the president who once were the violent person who wouldn't uh, uh, give this woman a freedom at all, kind of. Now, I don't going to say where my father comes from. However, my mother are American and she have always been an American. Why my father on the hands are outside from America. And for my grandmother, from my father's side, as I said, she is a Canadian. Had lived in Canada. And why am I saying it? Well, I am proud of her Canada. So yeah. That's why. I can't say otherwise. That's why. <laughs> so yeah. That's the only thing I can tell. That I am a part of Canadian. As much I am an American. So yeah. But. Why I don't tell exactly where I live today. No. I ain't saying that. Not until I am ready, of course. Who knows? Maybe I'm still in America. Maybe I am in Canada. Maybe I am in Brazil. Maybe I am in Cuba. Maybe I am in Saudi Arabia. Or maybe I am in Denmark. Maybe I am in Germany. Maybe I am in France. Maybe I am in Spain. Maybe I am in Italy. Maybe I am in China. Maybe I am in Japan. 
Maybe I am in Australia. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you can maybe ask me many things before you know exactly where I am, but that's not why I'm here to say today. <sighs> okay, enough with that. Uh, 2009, my father died in, well, I think it was the last summer before fall, the event of fall came. However, we were celebrating an event we had and I was the one who literally couldn't let anything go, if I may say it. But I ain't saying what, because I'm more afraid that you will find out what religion I belong to. However, many people would maybe see it as a funny thing. But in our religion, it says it is strict forbidden to do it. No matter what. So there was the time. When I started to blame death. For what happening to my father. In the same time I blaming myself. And yeah of course my father was also sick. Because he was working of course. In the industry. Who literally had no protection. When it comes to breathing inside of the. Working place. I mean, you have to breathe dust and all kind of chemicals there and get sick later after all those 25 years as he went work there. So yeah, that kind of shit he have actually gone through when he told me also that I can try to calm down. I was always worried because he was always ill when, when I was there. Even if he wanted to hide it. But I keep asking him. Nagging him about his sickness. And so on. So yeah. So that was the time. So after 2010. I was actually handling myself. Taking responsibility of myself. Wanted to work. So no one could take. Anything. So 2010, I took care of myself and didn't do much myself except to start to work in this case because I had a hard time. I didn't want to let my mother take care of me. I wanted to be an, uh, a responsible person who was independent. And that's what I fought for. Well, I can't say much, but that's exactly what happening. So after 2010, I had my egg against all kind of thing who always end with death. It could be a murder. It could be a gunman. It could be an assassin, kind of. Except that not all assassins, but depending what the assassin's job was. If that assassin was maybe working for killing because it was necessary. Well I would maybe ask first. And then if I get the answer. Should I treat him as an enemy? Or as a friend? But everything I have with the killing to do. Who end up with death. Death was my negative motion. As I have. Could I talk with the psychologist about that? No, of course not. They would actually think that I would be a sick man who should actually deserve to be into this kind of psychopath room, as I would call it. I don't know. You maybe get it what I'm saying. However, 
I work as a janitor for over 10 years. First nine and a half year in my first job. Then nine months in my new job as a janitor. But not only as a janitor, even in as a gardener. And yeah. There's many things I did in the past. But okay, what about my religion? Well, I keep it uh, being loyal to the to the religion I come from. And I couldn't think otherwise than thinking of myself. Because I wanted to be loyal to the religion, so I wanted to get deeper to it, so I could understand, so be a part of the religion, and even be close to God, kind of. But my wounds, in this case, after my father's death, was still something I couldn't talk about, except for myself, and maybe, maybe talk with someone who literally knew about my father. And who was my support in this case? Well, my uncle. He was the closest one I could talk to. He was the nicest uncle I had. The only relative who would talk with me all the time. Fine, okay. We are maybe not necessary relatives exactly but we treated each other as a relative because he was my father's best friend but he was my uncle anyway and I saw him as a relative that's why but unfortunately he died too I don't remember if that was 2013 or 2014 I think it was 2014 Perhaps, I'm not so sure. I don't remember exactly, but I tried to. So I got the message from my mother who literally told me that my uncle had passed away and I was so deeply sad, but I couldn't show everybody that I was crying. However, I despised death all the time. I was always angry every time when I heard about death. I started to blame the reaper about my father's death. Now, don't get me wrong. When I say reaper, don't think that you have... Uh, that you have... That you know that what religion I belong to. No, 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 no. Reaper can exist everywhere. But when I say word death, it could be anyone. It could be God on the other hand, but when it comes to God's name as a death, that will be the only time I may be backing down because I refuse to go against a God. I refuse to insult a God. I refuse to be angry at a God. I have to respect a God, kind of. That kind of guy was I when I was younger. So yeah. But the time I, on other hands, were abused, the time when I became 29 years and wanted to just leave from home, was the time I wanted to get out of there. Okay, as a young youngster myself, even if I saw my religion as a peaceful size, I still repented myself, of course, because I wanted to be clean in front of God. But I used to say, I don't have to let someone repent self just because that was necessary. I did it for myself because I felt that repent, repenting was something I wanted to do because I don't want it to cause any concussion with God or asking forgiveness from God. I didn't want to owe him anything. So the, out, the only thing out of it was just 
repenting myself and still serve God and bow to God, worshipping God and so on. The prophet, for the prophet self, well, I had no word except that God was the only one I repented to before I started to repent to many gods even if now don't get me wrong I ain't saying it it could be that I only have to pray to one god or several gods so yeah I ain't saying it however it was also one prophet I were follow as I started to repenting to a smash and yeah, when you're thinking about what did I do when I started repenting, well, I was whipping myself with a belt all the time until the time I bleed. Not all the time, but sometimes. And you maybe wonder, why do I do that? How stupid could I be? Well, sorry, I couldn't do it because I was thinking for myself. My father have never done that. My mother have never done that. But I did it myself because I didn't want to owe God anything. Normally in our religion we always praying to God of forgiveness. But I repented myself by whipping myself, punished myself, self-punishing if I may say it. Because I didn't want to owe God anything. But the time when I started to feel depression, it wasn't a lot of uh, repenting then. But I didn't ask for forgiveness either. I wanted to make sure that I repented myself all the time. But I felt tired all the time when my depression started. The time I wanted to just get out from the house to find my own life somewhere not only in my house even in my workplace I started to feel bad and I didn't want to be there anymore I just wanted to find another job I was promised to get to the McDonald's but I didn't get any job someone else got my job so yeah I felt so sorry so I was stuck in my old job as I wanted to just get out from and it was only that time I started to think for myself for all those years I had my problems but I still have many sides of myself who keep telling me that I was the one who put it myself there that I have to snap out so I could just keep repenting so I can stand back to zero again every time when I fill up my eh, wrongdoings it will still be something I have to repent to remove all those things I have commit. When I say committing, it could be a ridiculous thing. Something many atheists maybe would laugh and maybe think that I am stupid enough. So yeah, I'm sorry. It maybe sounds funny, which is, but in the same time, well... That's a part of. I mean, true, true. We could always ask out forgiveness, as we all do. But in my case, I don't see that as a solution, because I don't want to be owing God anything. That's why I started to repent myself, with punishment, self-punishment, so I could actually keep my guard down. Never ask God anything. Even when it comes to God himself. Even if I wanted to suspect God. But I couldn't because I saw God as a lovable person. While we as human. Who were the one who caused the problem. And the ignorance here from beginning. But the time. When one of my friends died, and even one of my father's old friend died, it was only then 
2021, somewhere in the in the advent of fall. It was the time my friend died in the hospital. He was self a religious person. But I'm not ashamed to say this. He was Christian. And as you say, as you know, I can't say what religion I belong to, but we have both had two different opinions. However, of course he asked at God so many times as much he asked at uh, Jesus about the idea that he want well about his sickness and so on fine my friend was suffering of course and he had went to hospital so many times operation after operation which caused him to drop a lot of energy as well but he became only sick and sick and sick it was also the time when he was injected with a vaccine for COVID-19. But in this case, he was supposed to wait with it until he was cured with his current sickness. But the doctor suggested it was better he took it now than not at all. But again, that wasn't the cost. The problem was that we have to fix the old problem first before he took the vaccine. Because with his current sickness or disease he had, that could also cause the problem also. But yeah, again, we can't say it either because that could only wait when... wait. Uh, I don't know how to say it. I can't say it because since I'm also vaccinated and we shall never make people getting notice of everything because COVID-19 is out there and we have to defeat the COVID-19 of course by vaccinate everybody in the world. So yeah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say it. By just telling the perspective of my own friend, how he died and so on. But what caused me to be an agnostic was after my friend's death. And it was that time I started to think about God, how violent he was and so on. Whatever I have read in, the, in any of those gospels and books I actually have gone through, which I couldn't tell anything about. And yeah. It was really hard to ever believe that God would ever be violence at all from the beginning. So yeah, I was afraid, so I started to think. But even if I neglected the religion itself, because of the injustice between all the genders and those people with other sexual orientation even those who are actually a part of gender zero when i say gender zero i mean for example eunuchs even if they have been accepted in the history from the past from each and any religion which they do in few of them for example both uh, both Buddhism and Hinduism, but uh, I don't know if they are still accepted in Christianity. Perhaps not today, but early in the time they were, because each and any of them uh, were singing a lot. In Islam, they were accepted as a guardian. If you were working as a soldier, of course you have to castrate yourself to protect all women and children and never become a predator at all. 
that was it and uh, I don't know about the Jews but I don't have any data on that when it comes to castration anyway that was it I became an agnostic but I still have a size of myself that I sometimes getting annoyed and angry at God and sometimes I don't but in the same time I believe in other gods as well the only God I'm going to prize at least who seems to be a lovable God in my case well the only one I can mention is Madugaya the only one I would kiss and say thank you for being here with us and so on even if we are parasites you are still the one who keep us and live could I tell it to other gods well I can't tell it but that's the reason I can't say if my god is violent or not but the only one who ain't violent as I can say straight is Mother Gaia herself and I love her so much but she wasn't the one I worshipped she was the one I rather loved that was it, nothing more. But the one I worship, I still love him, I do. But I wish, oh yes, I forgot to just never genderize the God I worship. I have never genocide to God at all because I don't know if that God I worship is a he or she I used to only call that God a God nothing more and that's all I do I don't say anything at all <sighs> but that's it and that's how I became an agnostic. I didn't want to have anything to do with whatever I actually had lived with. All this pain for what? Seeing people die like flies. Vanish from whatever kind of thing. And my fear of over death. I understand that we're living in a materialistic world. We do. With our material body. Made of flesh. <sighs> Organic, if I may say it. But yeah, you get it. Well, it is, a, it is sad. But there's nothing I can do. So yeah, that's the part two of me as an agnostic. And that's what I am. I am agnostic and I am proud to be an agnostic, questioning my own religion. But I will always support the non-violent size of my religion. But so long it is violence, so long there is injustice between the genders so long there is one whom, who get the right whatever he want and other have to submit to it that's the that's those time I'm going to neglect God can punish me if God want and I don't care if God punish me for me speaking against injustice 
That's the only time God can punish me in this case. But I stand up for gender equality no matter what. And that's the reason to why I maybe are different from whatever anyone would maybe suspect me to be. Even if I don't want to relieve who I am exactly. I rather stand up for those who have lived with injustice for many years instead for those who crave for superiority. That's what I am. And I hope there will be people out there, especially boys, who will understand how hard it has been in the past. I mean, you have seen many women, on other hands, who literally living with their husbands, who maybe have getting out from their husbands and live as a free woman for once. Or those women who are living alone with their children, who doesn't have any cash, but yet looking after job to take care of their children, of course. Or maybe those women who literally can't go without jihab, but were free, or maybe free to do it somewhere in few countries, of course. And that's the thing. We haven't asked why, but here's the thing. No one should decide how women should be, and that's the only time someone should question it. Be free. Let Allah in this case decide whether you should argue or not. It's not up to the men to Punish the person who refused to wear your hub. It's only God himself. And that doesn't mean that someone should actually tell that the woman should uh, care it. Or those guys going to punish her in Allah's name. But here's the thing. No one know who Allah is. Maybe Allah doesn't care if that person ever wearing a hub or not. So long she is doing right thing without to become a criminal and maybe going to school, taking care of herself and be independent. Then let it be. Besides, no religion should decide how other genders have to have to be in a certain way because of someone who literally wrote about the religion itself. The same comes from Christianity itself, who literally mentioned about women who have to submit to their men. For what? For Eve taking a bite of an apple? For God's sake, instead of persecute her, why not embrace her? And understand that even if she did it, she didn't do it in purpose. She was actually doing it because of someone who was actually telling it. She was more like an adventure. And we should actually never judge her at all. She is all... Uh, she is... Uh, I don't know how, how to call her. But we could see her as an old mother, if, my, if I may say it myself. And we could also praise other gods as well. Is that so wrong? No, of course not.
And that's what I mean, that no matter what, even if many women have actually gone through a lot of hell because of someone who literally can be angry because of all this nagging thing, don't think that they have no idea if they ever do a favor to God. I mean, again, we're talking about a God. Who have ever allowed God to ever talk with the person itself unless God want? So as I said, for those who maybe do the favor of the violent, they shall actually feel the punishment from God himself. Or sh oh, yes, of course, I should never say him. Because we don't know what gender God is. And that should never be. <sighs> Whether if that person's name is Yahweh or what. But there's a lot of violent of course. And that's the only thing we have to eliminate. I can't say much about Judism. Because I don't find m much things. Except for few things. It is easy for men to read, to become a man. But why couldn't women be read the same text like men have to do? I, 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 I'm not so specific on it, but it was some kind of thing. I can't tell exactly what now, but I can say it later. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Because... I needed to share that part of myself in my chest. I felt like I have to do because there is no otherwise. Or I will be nuts to not ever tell anything at all. And before I, want, before I go, I want to mention one thing. My auntie doesn't have anything herself on other hands, but... Except that she's working, of course, and taking care of herself. But she's indebted and doesn't have anything except to share her money to the IRS, who actually taking money from her, half of her payments. I want to help her to end this kind of crisis she'll actually live with. And I myself, who trying to find my second job, I want to help her so she could actually be free from it. That's all I have to say. And if you like this video, give it a thumb up or thumb down. And if you are new, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to hear many random things I have in my mind, no matter what. That's why my channel calls Shit Channel for you, because it's full of crap. And sometimes I like my craps for otherwise, and sometimes I have nothing to say except to let your opinion be important for me. So I can do a delighted video as you can maybe liken whatever you have in your mind. And as I said, I love all religion so long it is no hatred or violence. And I can find it on many verse or sometimes, even if sometimes there is verse who also are violent. And that's depending. But we should never just judge somebody just because it is different. But sometimes it is really nagging to ever keep it in the mouth when you have to shut down someone by saying whatever you have to tell. So it needs to come out from the chest. Ah, that's all I have to say. And I'm very happy that few of you uh, took a chance to talk with, uh, to hear what I have to say. And I'm thanking you all and wish you Good night and sleep tight. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, by the way, 
When it comes to Jesus Christ, I forgot to say, before he was persecuted, my, my mind about that was that I don't believe what the book is saying. I believe that Jesus on the other hand questions someone by asking, How do you know who I am? Who do you think? Well, okay, kind of. It was more like a question. Someone were questioning if he was uh, the God. Okay, perhaps a God, but which one is his father? Is it Yahweh or maybe someone else from another space? That's what I have in my belief. Not in the way they may be saying, but it's not impossible either. All I'm saying is, it's different from what some people might say. So yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to say. And I will talk more about that, what I believe. Anyway, I wish you good luck and have a nice day. Bye everybody. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say the difference between agnostic and atheist. As you know, atheist doesn't believe in God. Agnostic, they can believe in God in the same time they don't. The depending who doesn't and who does, no one knows. So yeah, so between those symbols, I have agnostic symbols. And someone with atheist symbol, they have their own. So yeah, it's really different. Anyway, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.